Hey guys, this is Big Hatch Gaming. Um, this is Joe and Jay from Big Shark Gaming. It's hello, uh, Jay. No, I go first. I'm Joe from Big Shark Gaming. And I'm Jay from Big Shark Gaming, and this is Schnoz, our resident penguin giraffe. Don't mind him. All right, so we're going to be talking about Far Cry 4 today. A little game review. Yes, Jay, hold it very up in this. See, that was great. That was great. All right. Oh, yeah. See, that's the only thing that Jay could actually do today as he actually didn't play the game. So. <laughs> All right. So first we're going to start off with um, talking about the game. Uh, the game was released for next-gen consoles, which I think it's a really good uh, game for next-gen consoles, and it's got really good graphics on the PS4, I'm not going to lie. But uh, Yeah, that was something that I enjoyed. Like when you were in um, the helicopter thing, it was beautiful. Yeah, you get to really enjoy this beautiful game. Mm -hmm. it, it really captivates the world nicely, and I feel like way, way better than Far Cry 3. There are a lot of treats. Shut up, Jay. Why, why do you have to be so hating against the arboreal kind? Joe, I, trust me, I'm not uh, hating Jay, on Jay? the arboreal kind. We're, we're guests today. We're, we're guests. Let's we'll not do this. <laughs> Chris? <laughs> Take it away, Mr. Vacuum. <laughs> so. Mr. Vacuum. So, um, we were talking a little bit, like, before the show started. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> it's live, so anything can happen. Um, we were talking about how, like, there's some glitches in this game. And, uh, I don't think anything is really game-breaking to this game, which is really, like, a credit the best to the part about the glitches. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Jay, I feel like you're gonna be snarked the whole time, but that's good, I guess. But yeah, none of the glitches are really game breaking, so that's credit to the game's functionality and the game's creativity. Um, and the beta testers. Well, yeah, always, but um, <laughs> I felt like there's some really funny glitches compared to like anything that could really hurt the game. Sometimes you won't get any animal spawn, so you kind of do have to reset the game then. But other than that, the game's functionality is really great. It really was, and. Uh... Let's nice speak glitches, you guys. of some glitches that came up for us. Yes. Do you want to go first, or should we talk can, about it first? You, you can explain yours first. All right, let's do rapid fire. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So I had a tiger run up to me and try to maul my face while I was lying on its side. Still running. Um, looked like Homer Simpson in that one episode where he was running around. In a circle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Needless to say, if a tiger is running on its side, it's not going to be able to maul you too well. <laughs> uh, it kind of just floated through my leg. Still cool story. Chris, um, your turn? Um, one time, I was playing, and a bear uh, tried to get on its back legs, and... <laughs> It you know, like you know how like you're supposed to make yourself tall to a very kind of intimidate it. Well, that it was trying to intimidate me, and uh, it got back on its back <laughs> legs. And I was in the middle of a mission, and it got back on its back legs. And instead of standing on its back legs, it stood on its back legs, but jumped up and down and did not move. And as I uh -oh. said earlier, it looked like it was resembling that one guy off a little Nicky that was like, "Hey, hey, hey," and uh, uh, you should have added some Brazilian flower to that. And just played it on a loop. <laughs> and that would have been an incredible video. Uh. Another uh, funny glitch I had was um, demon fish swimming outside of the water. It was just <laughs> <laughs> it was just sitting there doing like three sixties in the air, just like. <laughs> doo -doo 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 -doo. And I was just like, well, that's actually not as intimidating as I thought it was. It was a really easy bow kill, but um, it was still funny. There was one game-breaking kind of thing where I had to reset the console, and it was uh, when you're going to uh, do the the very first golden path thing or whatever, where you have to go through the place and you gotta like light the candle, then you gotta throw stuff in the ashes and. Oh that. yeah, the karma one. Yeah, and the guy he kind of just sat there against the wall and he was moving his arms <laughs> like he wanted to tell me something, but he wasn't telling me anything. <laughs> And that happened twice, and it was like, is there a backhand button so I can snap him out of this? Because he didn't, he just kind of sat there. And yeah, he was no, just, he's just like, and he was like Whoa. waving his arm for me to come towards him, and he was just like not saying anything. I was sitting right in front of him, his arm was phasing through me, he's like, come on, bro, come on. <laughs> but other than that, it was great. And, uh, he was foreshadowing the Nora quest. <laughs> 
and then uh, they had some, they added in some really cool uh, new vehicles and weapons that I thought were really awesome. Uh, like, talking about vehicles, I am so fucking bad at driving in this game. Yes, and that is uh, why they implemented the auto drive feature. <laughs> yeah, but I don't like using auto drive because I like to make myself struggle a little bit. And, crash and I was like, tree. I will learn how to fucking drive these cars. And some of them are great. Like, uh, the little dune buggy one, it's incredibly fast and easy to handle. But, like, when you're trying to, like, do the uh, Royal Escort with the cargo trucks, those things don't fucking handle for shit. <laughs> Every time Joe crashed into a tree, I yelled at him. Yeah, he'd just be like, Skinner! Yeah, there you have it. <laughs> There's a lot of Simpsons references in this. Yes, there are. Yeah. There is... I just like how you uh, signature weapons a lot easier in this game. I feel like you don't really need to farm for rupees as much as you do, and you can actually get a lot through quest. The yeah. bell towers are ex. Um, the propaganda quests are excellent. Until you saw that one was a journal. Oh my god, yeah, that was something that annoyed me. Re when you play this game, you really have to study like your legend for the map, because. <laughs> One time I had, like, uh, it looked like it was a journal on the map, but it ended up being a propaganda. I spent maybe, like, 45 minutes looking for a fucking journal, going in through roofs and shit. Like, I made Far Cry 4 into Assassin's Creed, pretty much. They were made by the same people. Yeah, I know, but I don't think they intended it to be that way. <laughs> uh, talking about bell towers, the bell towers, I think the bell towers were a lot cooler in uh, Far Cry 4 than in Far Cry 3 because in Far Cry 3 you had scaled this big metal thing and they were basically all the same just a different puzzle every time and Far Cry Yeah, no, 4, I was actually really impressed by the platforming in this game Yeah, and on Far Cry 4 you would go down there and there would be ammunition and everything down there it would actually be inhabited by people not just a random radio tower and that was really cool and I liked the way that you like hijack the signal you hit the box and then you tear it open yeah, you Break it, just like fuck yeah, it. And on Far Cry Three, it was like he knew exactly what he would always like do the same thing. He would like open up the thing, and he'd flick two switches, and you'd be done. So I like that what they yeah. did on the bell towers. I love that there's always a zip line on top of the bell towers because I am definitely prone to jumping off and dying. I know. Yes. And uh, I think uh, see even Chris knows, Joe. Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> Something that you need to invest in really early on in this game is the wingsuit, because you get a trophy for it, for flying with it, but also, it's just a lot of fun. And it's the one thing Joe's good at when it comes to moving. Yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> he even has a hard time walking sometimes. I got attacked by an eagle while wingsuiting. It's like, nope, this is my territory. Yeah, no, it, it, it was instant death. It was... I, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> so uh, that happens. Um, I know a lot of people have been complaining about, like, the spawning of the eagle... How it usually just spawns in fucking really bad places at bad times. Like in cliffs? Oh yeah, that's another glitch. I had a fucking eagle just flying around inside of a rock. <laughs> uh, but I know a lot of people were saying how like sometimes eagles have the tendency to spawn when you're facing down a rhino. Which, I can imagine that being terrible. Because rhinos themselves are pretty terrible. They have ungodly turning abilities. <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing that bothered me about like the realism of the game. Rhinos turn so fucking fast in that game. <laughs> like, I had one ring around a rosie with me around a tree. And that would never happen in real life. Uh, one of the... I liked a lot of new things in the game. Like, one of them was how you can... Uh, the animals that they added in, they're so cool. And the next-gen, like, <laughs> graphics on the animals are so cool. And plus the fact that you can interact with animals. Like, if you get the thing where you can ride an elephant who doesn't want to ride an oh, elephant? Yeah, I love an elephant and you can bash over people you can run through things you can send also you can get bait and you can throw the bait at an enemy and if there's a random like cheetah around it will the cheetah Pizza. will attack the enemy yeah and that was really awesome i used that um in sleeping saints the one where you have to like uh recover the buddha outpost you, you have, like, five minutes to do it, and um, it's kind of fucking tough. Especially when you have no uh, health sy syringes or body armor, so you kind of just throw meat, get some wolves to come, and then the wolves are a lot easier to polish off than humans. Yeah. But, uh, there's a, they also introduced a new karma system into this game, which is pretty excellent. Um, it helps with some other things, like getting guns. It also helps, like, getting uh, 
well, yeah, you get experience for it, but also besides that, you get like twice as much skin or like you get other things. And there's random karma events, which utilizes the world map a lot more because like the karma events are always kind of running. Yeah. Like, to the point where like, yeah, you, you will be driving down the road and your golden path friends, they'll be fighting against the enemy and they'll just be sitting there and you help them out. Or maybe there's a enemy. He's walking a hostage back to a, place or something and you can save the hostage and gain karma from that and it's really awesome or you could, I, I think the, or you could do something as simple as help a guy fix his car yeah and then accidentally <laughs> weld them that happened one time jay it happened most recently and i didn't even get the reward for it because i fucking welded them okay <laughs> get over it whoa <laughs> um because the first time i did it you couldn't weld them i tried it was just I like know, i was sitting burning his face and nothing happened but i found an easy way to get karma up and that's using the bait system well, like you could just throw the bait, and you could just kill the animal that shows up with the bow, and you'll get like a clean kill. So um, uh, it will give you 50 karma experience, and obviously it's an infinite loop because when you kill the animal, you skin it, you get more bait. So you just keep throwing it. There was one thing that really disappointed me on this game. Okay, you know, on Far Cry 3, when you destroy the marijuana fields, and oh, this game has opium, but yeah. Yeah, and on Far Cry 3, you would destroy it, and you'd be using the flamethrower, and you'd be running through, and you'd start to get high from it. And then you would, uh, you would like, hear the Skrillex music in the background that you make in dubstep, and it's like... <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, and you... Yeah, would, that was one of the funnier parts of Far Cry yeah, 3. Yeah, and you'd be tripping. And it really disappointed me in Far Cry 4, how they didn't do that when you were burning down the opium fields. It was like... Yeah, I know. I I expected it, and like I was trying because during that one mission where like you have to go burn down the opium field, or you could go and hijack it, but I chose to burn it down, and uh, I was being so cautious that I was dying a lot because yeah, I, died I was trying like so many times not on that. to die. Yeah, and then I was like trying not to get high, and then I fucking realized that you it doesn't happen in this game. And I was like, oh, I was I probably so, could have did this. I know I was so disappointed in that. And then there were some cool features that they added in um, for driving. Like Far Cry 3, I hated so much because you would be driving down the road and you would always get ambushed by the other guy, the enemy. And they would always be driving down the road and you'd always encounter them everywhere you went. And they kind of cut down on that on Far Cry 4, but also when you ran into them, you didn't have to get out of the car to kill them. They had the new feature where you can shoot while driving. Yeah, you can just sidearm now, which is great. Yeah, and now you can uh, you can hijack cars while in your car, and that was awesome to me. I actually had my car hijacked from me, and it was not, not awesome. fun at all. <laughs> uh, also, the multiplayer... Uh, the multiplayer on it was great. I played it, and... I love Extraction. Yeah, the, it, it, it's so involving, and it's such open world. And also, how they added in on Far Cry 4, how you can have one of your one of your buddies join you on your single-player campaign. And Yeah, you could have, like, uh, gang wars a little bit. Yeah. Me and Axel, who is not with us right now, he's another Big Shark Gaming member. We were supposed to play together, but he's still stuck on Destiny, so we haven't had a chance yet. <laughs> And then, like, PlayStation got hacked, but um, we'll, 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 we'll get it done. Um, I love how um, the map for Far Cry 4 is pretty much the same size as Far Cry 3, but it seems so much more expansive, and it seems, yeah. like, so much more And, like, the random generated events are great in this game. I feel like it's on a really smart routine to the point where, like, you can't really tell it's a routine. <laughs> My brother is a... Uh, uh, I don't know. I think he just died. <laughs> but anyways, it is a great game. Uh, Chris, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go help him. <laughs> um, Jay. Yes, Joe. Jay, are are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, 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 all right. So, yeah, Chris. Um, but uh, it was a great game right, to play, Jay? and I really. Uh, no, it is game to play and uh unfortunately i didn't have as much time to play as i wanted to i don't really but... have much to say about it because i've never played far cry before and i'm really only just watching joe play this one i think you should take the chance to play it though like you know sometimes just borrow the playstation 4 and just look it up because i think you would enjoy it you like those open world games where it's like you could do things at your own pace 
The only thing about Far Cry 4 that I didn't like is sometimes the uh, campaign missions become a little bit unclear and you kind of lose sight of what you have to do. Yeah. Like, uh, after uh, burn, uh, burn It Down, one well, where you have to burn out an opium, it's like, all right, what the fuck do I got to do now? And it doesn't tell you that you have to go to Long Gidimus, I think his name is. Yeah. And, like, it's, it's a little, like, indirect sometimes. Yeah, and I, I liked it. Uh, the characters on the game are they they're all like got a story behind them like what you said Longinimus whatever his name is he got he's like really he his story is he got shot in the head and then he's saying that when he got shot in the head Jesus came in through this <laughs> the the cut on his through head and got inside of him and he's like a he's like a preacher but I don't oh that's the guy in the church. No, no, that's the guy that sent you to the Himalayas. I don't think you watched for that part. No, I don't think I did. Yeah, and one of my favorite missions was when you go to the Himalayas. That's so cool because... Yeah, I love how like, the visibility is like just nothing. Yeah, and it's it's so realistic, and it gets you involved. Like When you're playing and you're really like into it, you actually feel like you're the character, and you feel like you're in the Himalayas killing some little goats that I may or may not have killed up there. May or may have not kicked off a mountain. Yeah. Oh, and another cool thing that they added is you can kick stuff. <laughs> I recently found out that you could kick things and not use your knife, and I've been kicking everything. Yeah, you, you can, can like, kick off. You can be on, like, a roof, and there'd be, like, a barrel up there, and you kick the barrel down and into some enemies and shoot the barrel. It's so awesome. But Yeah, um, I was getting swarmed by uh, doles the other day. Just started kicking I just started kicking him. <laughs> he was all like, you know what, Dolls? You're going to get my boot to the head. Yeah, I was just like, uh, straight kick, kick. And uh, it was pretty yeah. awesome. It was all like, kick. Uh, some of the, hold on, guys. I, I dropped my phone. Some of the animals in there are like really like just right. – some of the animals in there are really <laughs> just like – they're really interactive, but they kind of just get set off way too easily. Like, I threw a rock at an elephant, and he went on a stampede, killing everybody. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, I have like the biggest heart for the elephants, and like I'll be like walking all along with my elephant, and all of a sudden, like another one will come up, and I'll be like, "Fuck, can't separate the family. Got to get off the fucking elephant and walk the rest of the way." I know. And he always like, does that every time he does. He complains. There's something that, like, makes me so sad. Like, I saw an elephant, a dead <laughs> elephant, sitting on, like, just dead on the side of the ground. I was, like, I, I was, like, praying for him. I was, like, Hajibus, please help this young elephant. Hajibus, save this young elephant. Yeah, yeah. Got him golden and path. The, the thing that scares me a lot in the game is when you're just, like, you don't have a car and you're just running through the middle of the night trying to get to your location. <laughs> and all of a sudden, random vulture or hawk just comes out of nowhere and... It's... That game is Far Cry is surprisingly terrifying. Yeah, and you'll just be walking, all of a sudden, Jaguar will come up and just it's it's scary. No, uh, I had a few bad experiences with crocodiles. Um, I think my favorite animal experience though is I found one of like the traveling Sherpas. And I had just got done trading with him. I took two steps. I turned around, and a fucking like leopard was clawing his face. I was like, <laughs> huh, that happened. <laughs> Like, at least he didn't, like, happen like, while I was trading. At least let me, like, get his ammo and stuff before. I, I remember uh, he was telling you about that. <laughs> the leopard didn't let me get my money back, but he... Oh, but, well. Yeah, it was a great game to play, and I really liked it. And uh, it was it was just awesome. I, I loved it. I, I'm pretty sure you guys loved it as well. Yeah, I, I definitely thought it was a lot more compelling than the third one. I never played the second one. I know, shame on me, but... uh. Far Cry, it wasn't always one of my favorite games, but I've really spent a lot of time into this game. Not just because like we were going to be on your show, but because it's just fucking fun. And like, I just got done with Alien ISO, and I feel like this is kind of on the same level of scariness and funness in like a completely different way. Like Alien ISO was scary because it wanted to be scary, but this game was this scary, scary and like, it's thrilling. Realistic. Yeah, because exactly, it's a realistic game. The world is beautiful. There's a lot you could do in it. And there's always something going on. You can make maps. You can play other people's maps. You yeah. can just chill. You can choose which side you want to be in when it comes to Sabal and Amidi or Amida. Yeah. You can choose Amida. who you want to help. Like Sabal, he's. Drugs? Yeah. That, that's another thing. Uh, the drugs thing. 
Um, after you conquer a bell tower mm-hmm. and you get in the car, the radio station changes. Yeah. Uh, I have so like at weird. first, it's like uh, some like just regular music or like Pagan preaching about some shit. But like after you conquer a bell tower in that area, you'll hear like the uh, Karat talk show. And, like, he'll just talk about the most random shit. Yeah. Like, he'll talk about, like, how hot Anita is. And, like, he'll be like, yeah, but she's a fucking major druggie anyway. But, like... Yeah, he started... I was playing, and he started talking about how he says sorry after he has sex. Because <laughs> somebody's like, why do you say <laughs> sorry? And it's like... I'll play it after we get done with this, but... It oh, was, my God. It is... It was... Uh, it was... No. Uh. <laughs> I, was, I, I couldn't stop laughing because you're just driving down the road and all of a sudden you hear that you're like what yeah I know there's some things where I'm just like I'll drive just sometimes just to listen to the radio talk show yeah I know and like I love the easter eggs they make like he just talks about like Walter White from Breaking Bad or like Tony Soprano like he's just like what the fuck are you even yeah. talking about yeah, and you're he in was... the middle of the civil war yet you know all this pop culture yeah and then it, uh, he was talking about how uh, he follows Kanye West on Twitter <laughs> I was like what <laughs> yeah he was just like he makes a Kanye West Taylor Swift reference too it's, he's uh, like this is the best yeah. talk show of all time yeah so like, I was like oh. but anyways uh, this is Big Catch Gaming and Jojo and Jay from Big Shark Gaming and uh, this is our little game review, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this compels you guys to uh, make your decision on whether or not you're going to buy Far Cry 4, or if you already have it, if it helps you think about things that you didn't already know. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you guys later. Adios. I want to say thanks for having us, and uh, catch you guys next time. Fin up. Catch you guys next time. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Jay, you had one line the entire podcast, and it was a funny one. You're going. <laughs> now, All right. Up in Smash. All right. Well, thanks again for having us, Chris, and uh, hope we'll do this again sometimes. Here. See you guys later. Peace Bye. out. Bye. It's good to have you with us, brother. Mohan didn't start the golden path to peddle drugs. Amita, she's... She's lost. Get to the OT factory and burn it down. Can't stop the signal. This is Radio Free Kirat. Now, have you guys been hearing about these caves that Noor holds her little get-togethers in? <laughs> and I'm using the word get-togethers very lightly. There's not chai being served here. There's some crazy shit going down. Now, I'm an open-minded guy. After all, I do host a free radio program to you guys, okay? Uh, Is it me? Am I just a square? But I've never understood people who are into the weird stuff. I think sex is fun. I am very grateful for it. I do the deed. I say thank you. And I keep it moving. But if you are all about sticking your hard disk into some girl's floppy drive and then pulling out the nipple clamps and whips, that's just too far for me, okay? I I bruise way too easy for that shit. I remember one time I was with this girl. She was into some crazy S&M shit. She was like, fuck me. But then she started punching me and she was like, fuck you. And I was like, oh my God, this is my Vietnam. What's happening here? I don't know how to make sense of this whole thing. Uh, Look, I'm a basic guy. I'm a simple guy. I like vanilla ice cream and I like three positions, okay? Missionary, doggy style, and I'm sorry. That's pretty much what I do when I have sex. Oh, come on, Chotu. You don't say I'm sorry after sex? Don't act like you don't come too quick. Chotu's in denial. Let's get back to the music. Radio Freak Yirath, Rabir Rana here. Now, I hate flying, but I don't need to worry about that now because Pagan's got the only airport in the country on lockdown. Hey, Rabi, I've seen planes flying in and out of the airport. Yes, we all have. But those planes aren't filled with people. They're filled with heroin. I'll say that one more time. An entire plane filled with heroin. Now, I'm not a street guy, but a single gram of heroin costs anywhere between 100 US dollars to 300 US dollars. That's one gram, Chotu. I'm not a math guy, but a plane full of heroin is some serious, serious moolah. Say what you want about Pagan Min, but this guy has got to have some Tony Montana level cash coming in and out. I mean, this guy's got some Walter White business sense. I wonder if dictators have that whole one-up thing that neighbors have with each other. Like, do they have this keeping up with the Joneses for the 1% of sociopaths? Like, did Bugan see that gigantic statue of himself? Did he buy that just because Kim Jong-un has a statue of himself like that? 
Maybe he also said the same thing. He's like, oh man, Kim Jong-un has a golden toilet. I need a golden toilet. I mean, I have to shit in a golden bowl. I have to. I mean, look at what Kim Jong-un has. Life must be so different for the evil subset of the 1%. Hmm. Okay. Praise God. And the scales have fallen from the boy's eyes. There was a shipment leaving over the mountain by helicopter, but it went down. I need you to take this tracker and recover the shipment before the army gets it back. The Lord will provide you with transportation. What do you say? Amen. Amen. Now go! Go! Go, AJ! My doctor always told me not to choke it too hard. No, you gotta pat it with a little bit of baby lotion. My doctor, <laughs> my doctor on actually it. told me to start swallowing instead of spitting it out because it's better for your digestion, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> black people love. You got four answer choices. 